Happy Tuesday to y'all, and yes, we are in Flame Stag again. This is Nirvana Plays for the ninth. <laughs> this is the week of WWE Tender Loving Care, also known as tables, ladders, and chairs, the last of the meaningless pay-per-views in this last three-month stretch. And we will talk all about it on, you know, the Equestrian Rumble, which, by the time of this video's release, you should already be watching episode one of Start Starting this week where we talked about what happened last week. Yeah, we're going to be kind of a... Always on par sort of thing, but... Yeah, we'll get it all in. Eventually, but... Here's something that I found at least weird uh, I find myself in a weird position as a reviewer sometimes having to go against the grain of many a fandom and how scary that can obviously be you know as we're climbing up here we're nearing Mr. Stag I don't know why they didn't just name him uh Volcano Stallion or something like that. He could have had a better name. But. That's why I'm doing things like Unity later. And uh. You know. Master Chief later. Because. You know. These newer video games. They're going to take about a month. Month and a half. To get all their bugs figured out and fixed and things like that. They're not going to be these perfect stallions of games to pardon a pun. Much like X2 is here. Where it's a polished product. And here's the funny thing. This game took only 7 months of development. Which... I told you, the level of development time and the level of development cost that goes in the newer games is just ridiculous. And to have such high expectations from these games, I don't care how ridiculous it is, is asking too much. It is honest to God asking too much of the developers to make a clean game and make it on deadline. It's just not possible. You know, kind of sounds like a rant, but I don't really want to dedicate a video to something as meaningless as, oh, the game, oh, 
we want more finished product. Well, as you can see, there is a city of lamp for that. Facts of a buggy life. If you haven't seen it, but you know, it just astounds me that even a couple weeks after I did that video, that it's still very topical. And yes, Flame Stag is that easy to beat. It is that ridiculously easy. You just have to watch your life meter. He does have a dash that he does, and his flames turn blue when he's mad. And it can uppercut you in the air, so it's kind of a saw you can reference there, but. You know, I find it so intriguing. I guess I'm an old man by trade. I don't make sure to like and sub for more, but I'm just a greedy old 